so hey guys welcome back to my channel developers corner so this is the part 2 of user side integration of our modern e-commerce project so in last video we are done with our redux store and some folder structure updates so now we are going to do the sign up api integration and let's start so first of all what we will do is let's go to sign up page let's check first the fields so name email mobile number and password we are taking let me check what we are taking in backend so here we are taking first name last name email mobile and password okay so we need to update our fields so go to signup.js okay copy this first one is first name then we have last name first name last name okay this is done now we are going to use formic for validation and here for schema purpose so i have already installed this yup package in for formic also so go to api references go to use formic import use formic control v and copy this control c control v inside our component okay inside form we will do on submit on submit formic dot handle submit okay this we need to do so that's it for here so i already installed yup so what i have to do is i need to import yup control v and let's copy the schema structure okay so this person schema will be sign up schema so we need first name and is small then we have last name okay after that we have mobile yep dot string dot required pass the message mobile number is required for email we will pass email should be valid for last name we will pass required mm, last name is required then here required first name is required okay this is done now we will pass we have password so yep dot string dot require password is required okay so after that we will pass initial values so we have first name last name email mobile okay then password this is done now this is done for here we have to pass validation schema sign up schema okay so for me on submit for me that handle submit go to go to go to custom input we have to made some changes here so here we have to pass value is equal to formic dot values dot first name okay so comma value 
value after that we will pass on change then inside on change formic dot handle change first name same here we need to do mm -mm. on change on change pass on change let's pass on blur same here also on blur is equal to on blur okay so on blur is equal to formic dot handle blur and pass first name then value we have passed now after that we have to dot error formic dot touch dot first name formic dot errors dot okay let me check on blur is not defined on b l u r mm -mm. oh o is b so this we have to do now let's change it for all control v instead of first we will change it to last name then same we need to do for email email mail okay change this last name to email After that we have mobile Then we have password Okay, so if I check it's not giving the errors why let me refresh it once okay now it is giving the errors so our validation is done now we have to make some changes in mm, let's create one more file exios config.js inside exios config we will define export const const base underscore url is equal to http localhost 5000 slash api slash so now go to user service base underscore url dollar base underscore url user slash register use config okay this one we need to do now go to mm, 
sign up here we will do dispatch const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and inside this dispatch values okay and one more thing we will use is react toastify react toastify copy go to layout.js control v remove this toast here toast container okay open note this go inside this copy this and pass it here okay now go to user slice okay so state dot created user is equal to action dot payload and same here we will do is import toast okay here we will check if toast dot mm, sorry not toast dot state dot is success is equal to equal to true it will show toast dot info user created successfully okay otherwise if is error is equal to is equal to true then toast dot error and pass the section dot error mm -hmm. okay so i think this is done for here out service okay user service user data so let's try once if it is working sign up i think there is some problem network go to console what's the problem oh sorry one thing i forgot go to sign up here we need to import register user then we need to pass the values so now if i sign up user created successfully so all done for today so let's meet in the next video and there is one more surprise guys we are launching a react course so it is for beginners okay it will go to beginning to advance okay so whoever is interested please make comments okay thank you guys thanks for watching this video let's meet in the next video